Hello, this is a tutorial about uh, descriptive analysis uh, with Stata. We explained in a preceding tutorial how to ST-set the data. We will start with a data set that is ST-set for repeatable event or renewable event. And in this case, this is out migration. So we uh, want to illustrate descriptive analysis using graphs. The first analysis that we'll do is um, a graph of um, hazard rates and more exactly smoothed hazard rates. Comments for event history analysis graph starts with STS graph. The syntax is STS graph, comma, then an option. This option tells you to limit the graph to 90 year old. So the maximum time here is 90. This graph is showing hazard rates with confidence interval. The smooth function is a kernel function using rectangle option. The rectangle option for kernel, it's actually like computing a moving average. The width here is related to this option kernel. This tells you here that you take one year before a point estimate and one year after this point estimate. So the window is actually two year around an estimate. These are just uh, options for displaying axes, the titles and a note saying that uh, it's adding code HDSS and we can save the graph under this name. Let's run the graph. Here we have an estimate of out migration rate by age from age zero or more exactly from age one because we took a width of one so we can only start to estimate the hazard rate at around one year old and up to 90 year old and because we put a T max we stop uh, displaying the curve at 90 but actually it was computed beyond 90. The graph is just cut at 90 year old. And we see that there is also confidence interval, which is a 95% confidence interval. Let's do the uh, same graph by sex, adding this option. Sex is coded one for males and two for females. Here we can see that during childhood, the migration rate was about the same for males and females but um, it started to become different for females around 15 year old. And then from 20 year old, males are actually moving more than females. And at all ages, except after 70 or 75, where females actually move a bit more than males, although the confidence interval tells us that the difference might not be so significant. We can zoom in that graph by displaying the same graph, but only between 15 year old and 50 year old. So at the age where people migrate the most. Here we see the same figures, but the display is a bit more precise. And we see, for example, that at 50 year old, uh, males are migrating almost three times more than um, females. Again, we can display the same graph, but using a window for smoothing, which is narrower, using the option width, but with only 0.1, that is a tenth of a year, before and after the point estimate. As you can see here, the data is not as precise as we could think from the previous graphs. There is a lot of variation by age, and this is related to data quality uh, issue. The dates of migration might not be so precise, so there might be some uh, approximation here that explain these spikes. Now, we worked with a renewable event here. Out migration can be repeated for the same individual. Now, I would like to introduce some graphs that are used for non-renewable events. In that case, I have to ST set the data for non-renewable events. This is how we do it. And after this is done, we can display a Kaplan-Meier curve bisects for the first out migration from Agincourt HDSS. So let's look at um, the options here. 
we still have by sex. Here I chose to display only up to 80 years old. But this time, instead of displaying the hazard curve, I'm displaying the survival curve with its confidence interval. This is some labeling of the, the x-axis, titles, saving. So this Kaplan-Meier curve uh, is telling us that males and females first out-migrated with the same intensity. There is isn't much difference between uh, the two, because here we are looking at only the first event. Half of the population here migrated before 10 years old, and a three-quarter of the population, males or females, actually migrated before 20 years old. By 40 years old, all the population had migrated at least once. These curves can be displayed as live tables. And to display live tables, you will use STS list. The top table is for males, and below is the table for females. Here you have the extension table, or uh, showing the survivor function, starting from 1 to almost 0 at 80 years old. So this is the exact transcription of what you've seen in the graph. We can see that at 10 years old, there is only 47% of a synthetic cohort represented by the survivor function that has not migrated yet, whereas uh, at around 30 years old, it's only 4% that have not migrated yet. We have about the same number for females. You can produce uh, summary statistics of uh, these Kaplan-Meier curves, and these summary statistics, in particular the median year at migration, you can see from this table that for males it was about nine year old and for females it was about nine and a half year old. You also have the first quartile, which is 3.6 years for males and 3.9 for females. And uh, also the third quartile, which is about 19.5 year old, for males and 18.7 year for females. Another way to look at um, descriptive statistics for non-repeatable events is with STP time. STP time will give you rates and not probabilities. The rates will be computed by age group as shown in this option here. So this will be produced by five-year age group. The table of rates will display the person years at risk as well as the number of events. And of course, the rate with the 95% confidence interval. This is quite computer intensive, so you have to be patient before getting an output. Let me explain what this table is about. So here we have the table for males. In the first column, you see the person time. This is the sum of person years in the 0 to 5 year interval. These are the number of failures, meaning the number of events. Here, these are out-migration, or more exactly, first out-migration for males in this age group. The failures divided by the present time gives you the rates. Stata is um, computing for you not only the rates, but also the 95% confidence interval for these rates. The rates are expressed as yearly rate. These are annualized rates. So this is the average rate of out-migration between birth and five year old for males in this population over the whole period of observation. So each year, these male children migrated on average at a rate of 8% a year. The rates can get even higher in adulthood. As you can see here, they exceed 10% and reach almost 19% between 30 
and 35 year old. This is extremely high for alt migration. Now let's introduce to another statistics that is used in the literature. The cumulative hazard rates, also known as the Nelson Island curve, can be produced for first events but also for renewable events. This is one of the very few statistics that is uh, available for renewable events. So we will take this opportunity to reset the data for renewable event and to produce that cumulative hazard with confidence interval for out migration. As you can see here from the output of the STSET command, the number of failures is higher than previously computed for single failure per subject event. In single failure per subject data were about 115,000, whereas for renewable events there are 121,000. The resulting out-migration cumulative hazards are quite different by sex. You can see that again in similarly to what we've observed with Kaplan-Meier curves and the actual rates of alt migration, females and males do not differ too much before 25 years old. And then there is high di discrepancy between females here and males here. Mind you, the scale here used for cumulative hazards has no direct interpretation. As you can see, it goes above 1. So you cannot interpret that scale as a probability or even a rate. And cumulative hazards are useful more or less as a descriptive tool or exploratory descriptive tool for event history analysis but it is not often used in publication because of this problem of interpretation of the y-axis. For renewable events, we can also produce tables of rates. And this is simply by running these two commands. And you can check by yourself that the rates are not so different considering the renewable events as compared to non renewable events, so single failure per subject data. The tables will not be shown in this uh, screencast, but you can easily do that by yourself. Note, you can save the table as aggregated rates in a Stata format. The take-home message here is that you have to be careful with descriptive analysis when considering first event or repeatable event. You have to remember that Kaplan-Meier estimates, although they can be computed by Stata for repeatable events, have no meaning for repeatable events. They should never be produced for repeatable events. Thank you for your attention.